Ferrari per sangue. So remember how former Ferrari CEO Sergio Marchione put an end to any prospect of the Marinello built SUV by declaring he'd have to be shot before approving something like this? Plot twist! It's apparent that Ferrari's actively developing a performance SUV. And let's face it, when you consider purchasing a Ferrari, you aren't thinking about its utility as a family vehicle or how it would perform in severe weather. That, however, could be about to change. Stay tuned as we take a look at some of the amazing features the new Ferrari Pura Sangue has to offer, and you don't want to miss out. Ferrari's on a fast track to join the ranks of other premium manufacturers that have lately introduced SUVs to the market, such as Lamborghini Zurus and Aston Martin's DVX. The Pura Sangue, Italian for pure blood, will also compete against the Bentley Bentega and the Rolls-Royce Cullinan, two of the most luxurious automobiles on the market. So, what do we know about its external design? According to Ferrari's details, in September 2018, it'll be more of a couple-like SUV comparable to the BMW X6. The Pura Sangue will be a four-seater with a length of roughly 16 feet. Mild off-roading should be conceivable, but the Pura Sangue will likely favor speed and comfort on the road, and thanks to the front mid-engine arrangement, it'll allow a low center of gravity. Ferrari might go on a different path than Lamborghini did with the Urus. Instead of a traditional SUV, Ferrari meets Subaru Outback or Audi 6 all-road due to its sleek, sporty wagon-like dimensions. They're all incredible and stunning. And that's not all, the SUV will have a dynamic front appearance with impressive headlights, the design of its headlights are maybe more controversial than the concept of a Ferrari SUV. The headlights are divided in half by a large element that's stretched from the middle of the bumper almost all the way through the split design that the Italian automaker chose. For a more aggressive appearance, the component can include a set of daytime running lights, and guess what? A prominent grille and air intakes are also present. It'll also include taillights akin to the 296 GTB, quad exhaust pipes, and a central diffuser. While the concept of a Ferrari SUV was initially controversial, it'll be a natural fit in the company's lineup. The alloy wheel has a five-spoke design, which fits well with Ferrari's star-shaped rim concept. It'll have a tail bonnet, sloping roofline, stubby tail, and four doors, among other features. The first Songwe also has a full-width light bar around the tail that enhances the beauty of the tailgate's ducktail spoiler look. Quad exhaust tips are housed in the lower portion of the bumper, which is painted black. The tail has a threatening stance thanks to the extensive rear wheel arches. And now, what can we expect in terms of interior design? Expect a driver-focused layout with the capacity for four adults and a decent-sized cargo area. All the typical Ferrari characteristics can also be expected inside the new Parasangue, including plenty of leather, ample helpings of brushed metal trim, a good dose of carbon fiber, and a new version of Ferrari's infotainment system. More details will undoubtedly become available in the months running up to the Parasangue's introduction. The inside of the Parasangue will be spacious and comfortable for four adults, containing more headroom and legroom. According to Ferrari, we heard unsubstantiated speculations that the back doors would be rear hinged, similar to the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. And when it comes to infotainment and connectivity, the Roma and FA Tributo, two recent additions to the Ferrari portfolio, have taken different approaches to in-car entertainment. The Tributo has a digital display in the gouge cluster that handles all these functions and capabilities with a 7.0-inch display for the passenger as an option. In contrast, the Roma has a more typical infotainment screen set vertically in the dashboard center. So far, the Pira Songwe has not yet been crash-tested by either the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration or the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. Neither of those organizations conducts tests on high-priced specialty autos. However, anticipate a slew of driver assistance technology from Ferrari. What matters most is what's going on behind the hood. The first Songwe might be equipped with one of three powertrains, a V8 with 612 horsepower, a hybrid V8 with a staggering 986 horsepower, or a V12 with 789 horsepower, a configuration that no competition provides, allowing Ferrari a substantial competitive advantage. And later on, we can expect the hybridized V8 option that draws technology from the 4.0-liter SF90 Stradale, but with its plug-in hybrid unit situated at the back with the dual-clutch gearbox. 
We knew the Pierce Songway was developed with a hybrid system in mind based on information provided in 2018, but we didn't know much about engine possibilities that have come up over time. The Ferrari Pura Songwe automaker's chief marketing officer believes that adding hybrid power to the V12 would add too much weight, so anticipate this one to operate without electrical assistance. Expect a 0 to 62 mile per hour time of roughly 3 seconds and a peak speed of 200 miles per hour. Combining the naturally aspirated V12 with an extraordinary transmission and four wheel steering, thereby creating a four seat 812 Superfast, would surely set the car apart and provide a real sports car feel like Ferrari's first SUV. But because consumers demand certain things from their SUVs, such as the ability to bury your foot into the firewall and feel the tires engage, we believe the Pura Songwe will be all-wheel drive. Given that all-wheel drive was initially introduced to Ferrari's portfolio with the FF more than 10 years ago, and ever since, it's been a standard feature of the company's big GT hatchback. And because of the fact that four-wheel drive is practically essential in the SUV market, we strongly believe the Pura Songwe to have it as well. It's unclear, however, if it'll use the intricate system used by the FF slash GTCF Lusso, which incorporates a second gearbox from the front axle, or a less complicated design. This is for at least most models. The SF90 has electric motors on the front axle, but the Pira Songway's front engine arrangement means there won't be enough room. Therefore, hybrid vehicles will have their engines at the back. The goal is to strike the optimal mix between the SUV's comfort and dynamic capabilities. This results in a suspension system with a ground clearance range of 6.37 to 9.64 inches, the ability to hunker down when the car reaches 130 miles per hour, and excellent damping control. It's also not confirmed, but we suspect Ferrari might equip rear wheel steering for the Pira Songwe. Ferrari will have to develop a similar approach, a solution that's both comfortable and also on the racetrack. Guessing it'll be an air suspension arrangement, but Ferrari might come up with something new right off the bat for their new SUV. And in the real world, MPG and fuel economy, we do not anticipate the Pierce Songway to be a fuel efficient leader, even if it receives a hybrid drivetrain. Because Ferrari's focused on performance, any benefits the engine can scrape out with electric motors will go toward acceleration. The Urus and the 12 cylinder Bentega get 12 miles per gallon in the city. 17 miles per gallon on interstate and 14 miles per gallon combined. The vehicle is expected to deliver something similar. So, when is it being released and how much does it cost? And what kind of warranty and maintenance coverage do they offer for anyone who dares to buy the SUV? Well, buyers of the Pure Songwe will discover that the maintenance is covered for an unprecedented seven years, even if Ferrari's guarantee is less generous than Bentley's or Aston Martin's, both of which give unlimited mileage. The Pira Songwe is expected to break cover in the later 2022 or the beginning of 2023. If car shows reappearance ever, the Pira Songwe would almost certainly make its premiere during the Geneva show, which takes place in the middle of March. It's difficult not to notice the irony of the late Sergio Marchionne's remark and the imminent unveiling of Ferrari SUV. It's unlikely the Pira Songwe will pave the way for more SUVs in the future, but it'll leave an indelible impact. The Ferrari Pira Songwe will most certainly be a significant hit based on the popularity of the Lamborghini Urus and Porsche Cayenne. It won't be a high mile sale given that the price will be roughly $350,000, but it'll be valued nonetheless. The issue now is if Ferrari can construct an SUV that still drives like a Ferrari. We'll have to wait and see, but they're on their way. So what are your thoughts? Will the Ferrari Pira Songwe be able to compete with the Lamborghini Urus Sonati SQ8? That's all from this video. We'll catch you in the next one.